tallest person you know. How are you this tall? People in hell want ice water. You running up my electric bill. Smell like outside. Smell like a big like an IG mom. Well, a second grade, I'll say. Now you wouldn't have a boyfriend or anything that would. No. Oh, you know you weren't sure. It's not like you had to do it. Boy, you're glad you Show you how to make big freezes. Like body, he's athletic. Oh, word. One word. Coach, he's been good. Oh, yeah. Oh, please, please don't act. What's up and welcome back. Hope you enjoyed that intro. That was my homage to everything everywhere all at once. I mean, if you're not gonna stick around for the puzzle, at least leave a like for that intro. And if you're not gonna watch the intro, I mean, leave a like for the puzzle. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm super excited today because we have another puzzle from Deadwood. Now, if you recall in 2021, I named Angry Walter, my favorite sequential discovery puzzle of the year, and the creator has now made Walter's radio. He's got a whole post-apocalyptic story that goes along with these puzzles and this sort of universe. I'll leave the link to his website below where you can check out future puzzles of his because these are sold out. Now, this puzzle is a level 10. It is highly difficult. Between 25 and 30 steps are involved in order to solve and find the chip, the dead chip. So I guess, wish me luck. Leave a like, subscribe, and let's get into it. The aforementioned Walter, Angry Walter, 2021 puzzle of the year, in my opinion. We now have the next puzzle in line being Walter's Radio. Thank you for purchasing Walter's Radio from Deadwood Crafts. No force or prying necessary. No spinning necessary. No striking or hitting. No crying whining. Unless necessary. There might be a lot of the last one. The goal is to find or remove the hidden dead chip, D-E-D, -E -D, dead chip. Okay, something we can take away from this is it doesn't say no gravity is involved. It's kind of like magic trailers. When we sell magic tricks, we're like, no strings, no magnets. Those kind of eliminate two of the methods and then you're left with only a few other methods. So kind of the same thing. So upon closer inspection, inside this, uh, oh, this turns by the way, inside this little cubby, this little grill, there seems to be a sort of triangular block of wood. And behind that block of wood is a pattern of four lines. There's this, which looks like an emblem, I guess. I don't know. We have what looks to be a button on the bottom, a button on the side, perhaps a button here. It can be depressed a little bit, a button here and a button here. So one, two, three, four, five buttons and this, and that is it. So first things first, let's try pushing the buttons. So this one goes in a little bit. This one goes in a little bit, but that's about it. Nothing else moves. So my guess is if I turn this, I might be able to press one of the buttons. Try this one. There might be a small groove here. Maybe even if I do this, I know with uh, the Walter puzzle, Angry Walter, there was a magnet in here that you had to flip around and then you had to turn this upside down for it to fall out. Sorry, Walter. Uh, perhaps that's the same thing going on here. So I will continue to try and push buttons while spinning the dial here. Oh, so 
Although this moves quite seamlessly, even when I press these three buttons, when I press the top one, it ceases to move seamlessly. So therefore there's probably some type of uh, slot in this that is going to open up. So let's gently uh, we're in some type of groove here, as you can see, this is, let's keep going. Once again, we find ourselves with a little groove there, perhaps. And again, maybe it has something to do with the piece on the inside that I have to maneuver. It's just really hard to see because the grill is, uh, the depth of the grill is in such a way that as soon as I tilt it to try and see if there's a hole somewhere in the inside, it blocks any sort of visual uh, on the inside of that. So it makes it quite hard. Get a little flashlight out here. So I don't know if you can see this, but there is a hole on the top side here and a hole there. Let me get a little pad and pen. So what I can tell from my first sort of reaction to this is this grill that has holes sort of like this, pardon my drawing skills, um, has what seems to be a hole on either side of the top here, right here and right here. However, nothing really happens. So I'm wondering if the like I said, if the thing on the inside, perhaps I need to maneuver into that hole. Aha, look, it fell down. Oh, oh. <sighs> How cool. Um, on the inside here, you can kind of see this mechanism as I turn it. Oh, now it fell out of place. And there is a magnet here. Now, is that magnet, that magnet was probably, yeah, I see a little magnet on the inside here. So that magnet was probably just to keep this in place. However, this might still be a tool. I will try and rotate this. Actually, let's get the cylinder back to where, back to where it was and see if we can do the same thing, but on the other side. It's a negative. Okay. So now what I'm thinking is that little block on the inside, which by the way is shaped like this. Um, we placed it in here. It ejected one on this side. Perhaps we place it on the top and try the same. So we got to rotate it because I'm trying to get the thin end. Oh, I can do it this way. Oh, can I get to the side here? Okay. Okay, we should be able to do what we did on the bottom. Here we go. It seems to be getting stuck right here. Do the old magnet test. That's Aha, uh -huh. definitely a magnet here. Again, possibly just to hold the pin in place here. How to eject that pin, I do not yet know. Let's continue. Seems to be another one right here. These magnets aren't strong enough to pull this out, but it is strong enough to just detect the presence of another magnet, which might be important. So what did this do? What did this release? Is the point here to remove all four pins? Is that what we're looking to do here? Let's see this one, when you turn it, just applies enough pressure to get this one to release that sort of piece on the inside just kind of like shoves this one out of its socket, but it does not do the same on the other side. At least I don't think it does. Oh, that is something. There is either a button or a magnet here because when I do this, it snaps back into place. And I do feel something shifting. So I'm going to keep that there. Hmm. That is doing something indeed. Maybe that's a move for later. It does say no prying, so I'm not going to pry. So this is definitely a move. There is something, there is something happening here. The puzzle was like this. 
There's something happening on this side. We've got this one out, or rather this side. But I feel it happening here. Okay, maybe we'll get back to this move. Maybe we can't just, we can't do it yet. Can I rotate it on the other side and does it do the same thing? Also doing the same thing on the other side. This button seems to be really sort of pressed in rather. I feel like there's only a certain th number of things we can really actually do here. Oh, I definitely heard something click there. What was that clicking? What did that, this button definitely feels like it's being pushed in more now. Okay, let's go back to this side because something happened over here. Yeah, something's happening here. So on this side here, when I extend it to that, there's, feels like there's some sort of mechanism and the button in the back feels normal. Ah, when I turn this and I press this button, it stays pressed in. As soon as I let go, it comes back out. So there is some type of connection with this end and this back button here. Whether we have to do that now or later, I don't know, but that is good to know. That's a good clue. All right, so I've kept my finger on when I put it in this side. Now I bring it over here and there is clearly a loud click happening. and the click just disappeared. Okay, this side. So this internal mechanism here, which had this block and a magnet here, has now, has now been retracted. Good enough. With a hole here. When that block is, now there's a button on the back as well. This is on the back. When that button, when this sort of shape is put in this hole here, and then I spin it, something happens, a click. When I do it on this side, uh, something happens with the button. But right now, something's clicking over here. So I wanna, I wanna explore that a little more. There. What is that? No, the clicking's gone. There's also a bead in there. Uh, I'm not sure what the bead does either trying to figure out what this moves, if anything at all. I'm trying to observe all the little sides here. Boom. If I just hold it. Okay, see it clicked again. Something happens here. I'm not sure what. It definitely has to do with orientation. I'm not sure if there's a blind mechanism on the inside here, but my gut feeling is that I have to place it. I have to push whatever mechanism is in there without disturbing it too much, move the block to another mechanism and then help it get through a passage somewhere. Cannot consistently make that click. I think there might be like a little force required here just to sort of shift something into place. You can clearly hear that. There's something happening. I just don't know what, and it has to do with this back button here. As soon as I go over here, this affects this here. You, you can see it. Watch this button here. Here. Now when I let go, something's blocking this button. I'll keep my finger on that button. Try to rotate to the other side. Very interesting mechanism. Slightly frustrating is that I feel like I'm going insane because I'm just trying the th same things over and over, but there isn't much to do, I feel. So unless it has to do with orientation and I'm just doing, I'm doing the right things, maybe I'm just not doing them at the right times or at the right angles. I think those are my only two options. 
There's also a passage here. So the stick can go through here, it can go through here, it can go through here obviously, and it can also go through here. In this current position, I press the bottom, there's a clear click here. You can feel the tension and all of a sudden, bam. So I'm guessing that has to stay like this. Let's see if I can get that stick to go into a different hole without that clicking and it clicked. If we can consistently get that click to happen, I feel like we might be onto something. Is it when I press this? It has nothing to do with this, I think. Perhaps the bead is being trapped somehow because sometimes I do this move and I don't get the click and now I get the click, so I don't know. Like now it's gone. Yep, I just lost it. Does it have anything to do with this button? I don't know. This button, this button. <laughs> Uh, so at this point, I actually, I reached out to D, who's the creator of the puzzle, uh, Deadwood, and asked him for a hint, you know, reluctantly. Uh, I've spent almost three hours trying to find this next step. It's been grueling, excruciating, my fingers are numb, <laughs> and uh, I, I just want to kind of move forward. And, and there being 25, 30 steps, me getting stuck on step two, not a good sign. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd be transparent with you guys and, and hit him up. Uh, he wrote me back and said, focus on removing this piece next. So that's the only hint we got. That's all we know so far. So at least it gives us some sort of direction. It isn't, uh, you know, it isn't like do this or do that. It's move in this direction. So I appreciate that. It's not too much of a hint. Um, cause so far all we can do, I've gotten it to the point. I don't know. I don't even know how this happens, but I've gotten to the point where when I put the block here on the left side, I can trigger something here. And then it like, if I release it, it'll click. That's all I got. That's the only thing that I've been able to do on this side. There's also that same mechanism, but it just kind of like, it, it doesn't lock into place. It, there's some resistance. And when I do that, there's also, uh, it pushes on this button basically. Uh, and that's about it. Focus on removing this. I'm guessing this has to come out. Now, I don't know if it has anything to do with this locking mechanism, but we'll go ahead and try and do that. The thing is, with this locking mechanism, as soon as I go down, that's when it sort of uh, falls back into place. So I'd have to lock it and have to go upside down here. And now there's no way for me to get this block down there without it triggering. Here it goes. So maybe, maybe, maybe this is for like another step. Let's, uh, let's hope so. Anyways, we're going to focus on removing this next piece. I, you know, I wish it was just as easy as, as doing this is what we did last time to get this piece out, but realistically it isn't There's really no way of telling this is really a hard puzzle this is super difficult right now so looking all the way down the barrel we can just see the other side of this wood piece that we have to extract but uh no no indication really of of how to do that now i've even tried putting this back in and maybe using this as a tool but it's really just not i mean it's just there's nothing to do here I, if you can't tell by the sound of my voice, I'm pretty discouraged right now. Like, I don't even know what to do. It, it does take a lot. I do have a lot of patience when it comes to these things. But, uh, it, you know, once you try the same thing over and over a thousand times and nothing works, it gets to the point where you start convincing yourself, well, maybe it's the puzzle. Maybe something's wrong with the puzzle. And, and I know there isn't anything wrong with the puzzle, but it's just kind of what your brain goes through as you're trying to convince yourself that you're not insane. We're trying the same thing over and over. Um, I just wish I knew what was connected to what so I could work on something. Also, does this symbol have anything to do with the symbol that's on the inside, which is, you can slightly see through here. Is that a clue or is that just design? As much as I'm having a hard time with this, I, I love this puzzle. I think it's so cool, so compact, and the fact that it's so difficult 
and yet it looks so simple is just blowing my mind. I, I have no idea what's happening on the inside of this. I feel like I've solved harder puzzles, but then again. All right, so maybe like now when I try to get into that clicking part, lock it in, it just kind of, it stops abruptly. There's a, there's a small mechanism here and a small mechanism here. I'm trying to move this mechanism. Uh, it moves this button every time I move it. So I'm trying to move the mechanism, hold the button, and then maybe move the block down here so I can shift over this side. That's the plan. Maybe get the block down. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to extract this. I'm guessing it's the same, uh, the same thing that I should do that I did on the other side, but it seems like there's no, there's no contact with that block. Wait, unless, unless this has to go back in. Oh, there we go. Finally. <laughs> oh my God. That really took forever. All right, now we can get both sides out. Nice. Cool. Oh, yeah, a little mechanism right there, as you can see. This thing here. And it sort of locks into place there, too. I'm guessing that also happens on the other side. Oh! This now, this went in. What does that do? This goes in. What does that do? Let's see. Wait, maybe I can push it out with this or something. I don't know. <gasps> Wait. I think I know what I can do. I can use this to like, can I use this to like push on something? Ah, hold on. I can use this to perhaps push the block that's on top. Okay, hold on. Let's uh, let's get back here. I don't think it goes up any further. I think that's as far as it goes. Yeah, right there. It's really hard to see in there, but uh, you're gonna have to take my word for it. There's the block that I pushed up and there is the other piece that's inside. Now, I think this block, it definitely needs to be pushed up for something. I can only really use it to push up the middle because here, when I push, does it go through? No, it doesn't go through. See, it only goes through in one of those holes in one of the two openings here. What does that do? What does that do? I, I'm, I mean, my guess is that it's really just meant to push that part up, but haven't been successful in that attempt yet. Let me try one more time. Hmm. It doesn't actually reach to the very top. As you can see, there's a, there's a small gap between the two pieces of wood. Why would it stop there? Am I missing another piece? Oh, no. Hmm, okay, I thought there's maybe a way I can slip a piece in there and then push that piece up, but that doesn't fit. This is starting to make more sense to me now. See, once you get the one thing going, is it to lock the circle into place? Maybe it's for after. Or maybe one side's larger than the other, maybe. Let me see here. Does this go all the way through? stops there. Do I have to use it as some type of leverage system? Why would that protrude? The only thing I can see is that, yeah, either it's to stop the wheel from turning or to leverage the piece so I can push that up. Both of which don't really help me right now because it doesn't lift the piece high enough. So I'm missing maybe a third piece to insert there. These won't fit through the grid. And for it to stop rotating, I would need a reason for that. I don't, which I don't have right now. So that same locking mechanism is also on the other side. We've heard it before. However, it doesn't show here. So it's probably, it's probably locking something else. And uh, remember, there's also a hole here. So. Yeah, this one was locked here, and this one, there's there's a hole here for some reason. Now we've got this giant piece coming in here. We figured out this mechanism, this mechanism. We figured out this.
Well, a small bead just rolled out. There's a small bead in there now, look. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, that's what those grooves are for. That's for sure what those grooves are for. Wait, will that give me... Oh. Can I place it to where it's up there? Okay. Oh. We're getting somewhere. Okay, now we have a marble. What do we do with this marble? Maybe I gotta put the piece there first. The bead is now here. The block is now here. Maybe I'm just not lined up. You can see the block is now there. The bead is underneath the block. It seems to be stuck, but I can maybe shimmy it. All right, so that piece just is stuck. So my guess is that there's one of these mechanisms that's still holding this piece. So here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna try to get the side mechanism engaged, one that I can control here. Hold that button. All right, now while holding the button, <laughs> I'm gonna try to do all this. Where's my bead? There it is. Come on, bead. Nice. It still seems to be locked. All right, my guess is, I don't even know how I'm gonna do this, but I guess I have to make sure both mechanisms are probably unlocked. And I don't even know how to unlock the, the other one. Here, why don't we get rid of the uh, little ball bearing for now? There we go. This thing, man. Tell ya. Okay. Keep my finger on the button. Get the block. I'm just not sure that I unlocked both sides, to be fair, but we'll see. It won't come out. Oh, I want to come out. Oh, wait, it did come out. Yes. Oh God, thank goodness. We now see the inside here. Don't want to lose that. Can I take the tool out? Can I take this little block out now? Yes, I can. Great, okay. But that is not the end of it because we haven't found the, uh, wait, is that the, it says dead wood, but I don't think that that's the, uh, I don't think that that's the DED chip. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. Interesting mechanism here. Is that the thing? Is this what we're looking for? Or no, that's just a, a little blocker. Because I still have this side that's uh, that's got that clicky part. And I'm guessing that might have been it. So I'm thinking we might have to get this piece out. So to get that piece out, can this fit? But do I want it? Oh, maybe I... Uh, I mean, I literally have a bunch of pieces here that I could just push through. Oh, don't want to lose it. Mm-hmm. Aha. Oh. No, that's that piece. This is turning into such a chaotic experience. I really hope I remember how all this goes in. At this point, I don't know if I'm just taking the puzzle apart, but I also feel like I'm looking for the dead wood chip, and I don't think that this is it, or the dead chip. It looks like there's something in there, and I've noticed that since the beginning. And there's also a hole here. 
So if this is anything like our buddy Walter over here, there's still some more to discover. I'm just looking around. Have a look at around the hole. Actually, maybe. No, it doesn't seem to be anything on there. Is there a way I can push that out? Oh. oh! There's a switch on the inside here. Using this little hook here, I can pull on that and it's a small switch. And I'm guessing the bearing was in there. Now, what is that for? <laughs> Again, I just feel like I've, maybe I've done this puzzle. I'm just destroying it at this point. So there's a hole here. That's where, that's where that came out of. And then there's a hole here. Does that fit? That doesn't fit. Seems to be a perfect little slot for this little plastic thing. Oh! Wait, where did that fall out of? <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. That is the dead chip. Do you know it? You know it when you find it. Oh my god. This act is a little button, this bearing here. I'm, I'm keeping my finger on it. Where did that fall from? Hold on. Get that bearing back in there. What a weird key this is. Especially with a guy with big hands. Ah! <gasps> it came from here. Look at that. How cool. Oh my gosh. All right. Let's see if I can remember while I still can. That goes back in there. And we are done. Um, what time is it? It's 4.41. I started at 10. That's six hours and 40 minutes, including lunch. <sighs> Hot dang. I'm so dead right now. I'm so beat. My voice is shot. My fingers hurt. They're raw. The tips of my fingers are raw. I can't remember the last time I spent over six hours solving a puzzle. I think... Other than Excalibur, it might have been like the earlier lock puzzles, but I am absolutely brain dead right now. Uh, super fun, but extremely difficult. I did not expect it to be that hard. So it is currently dinner time, but I don't have time because I gotta pack my bags and I'm headed to Austin, uh, going to Texas for the week with Wes and Tobias Dostal, filming some cool stuff down there. Uh, so I gotta pack my bags, get my magic stuff ready, pack my clothes, my gear. I've got another four or five hours of work ahead of me and it's Saturday right now. Anyways, I appreciate you guys sticking around till the end. I really do. Um, we'll see you on the next one. Peace. <laughs>